Colin medical examiner ruled last month's death of former Dallas Cowboys player Marion Barber accidental. His cause of death is now listed as heat stroke. And this news coming as North Texans are living under a heat advisory. Candace Sweat spoke with a local physician about the warning signs and the prevention measures. The news of Marion Barber's death in June rocked the sports world. Medical examiners now say when the former Dallas Cowboys running back was found unresponsive inside of his Frisco apartment, he'd suffered a heat stroke. Heat stroke can really affect anybody. Dr. Samal Desai says the temperatures, like the one we've seen recently in North Texas, means no one is exempt from elevated risk of heat-related illness. I think it's important for the public to know this isn't just limited to those with underlying medical conditions or the elderly. Yes, those are risk factors, but this is something we all have to be aware of. Shortly after the news of his death, Barber's attorney and close friend Bill Clark spoke to NBC5 about the former athlete's physical condition, saying there weren't any issues that he was aware of. He was in tip-top shape, so I'm, I'm when I tell you I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss, um, I am. The CDC says some signs and symptoms of heat stroke are headache, dizziness, confusion, and nausea. Dr. Desai says we should all be mindful. There's a very thin line between heat exhaustion and heat stroke. It's a delicate balance and kind of a spectrum where the longer you're exposed, the higher your core body temperature gets, the lack of fluid intake and dehydration, and then that excessive perspiration really unfortunately can create that perfect scenario which leads to a really imperfect outcome. Now an entire community grapples with a loss they didn't see coming. For me he was literally family and I'm I'm so lost that I'm not prepared for this. Candace Sweat, NBC5. Really is such a tragic loss there. A quick reminder here from doctors. They say stay hydrated, stay cool so that you don't suffer a heat related illness.